Hey y'all, this is Jan from an Alaskan Crafter. How's everybody doing today? We're doing okay. We're having a lazy day. So pretty much for right now, situation normal. Um, it's a nice, bright, sunny day out, which means it's absolutely gorgeous, but it's cold. Uh, it... Uh oh did I just take out stitches? No. Phew. Um, Jeff said that it uh, was 11 below much earlier. Burr. Uh, we've had a little bit of wind to go along with it, so that kind of makes it even more burr. Anyhow, <laughs> uh, what I'm here for today is uh, a lot of folks are taking Monday, which is a really good idea, uh, as... Uh, what I'm making Monday, Monday makes, Monday make alongs. Um, so I thought I'd kind of step on a board and do like a Monday make along catch up type thing. Um, I'm doing Judy at Witch Piece Craft, her make along right now, which is uh, hashtag Shutterbug AU. And I'm also doing Jackie's Crochet ADHD, hers. Judy's is, uh, she's taking some of her travel pictures and she puts them in a app that actually pulls colors out and shows you what color yarn. And I know you can hit it a couple of times and it'll tell you from bougie to not so bougie yarn that you could be using. So that's what she's doing. And the first week was um, a place where you could stay, and I'm probably going to get it wrong, Glasgow, I think. I'll put them down in the description box. But her colors were blue and green, different types of colors. Uh and these are the two that I found closest in my stash. And this week, it was flamingos in a zoo. And there's some pretty good history about this zoo. Um, so you'll have to go, go watch the video. Um, and I just happened to find these two pinks. This is a very soft blush pink. And this is just a pink pink. And I'm doing the willow squares for them. Uh, I forgot to say Jackie, oops, sorry. Jackie's make along is make a couple squares or more a month for hashtag it's hip to be square. Juice. Well, there were some things on my box of cards. Let's see. These two were made out of paint box DK. Um, and I didn't realize, I don't know, maybe they are now. These are pretty old. Um, they didn't have a color on them. They just had color numbers. These pink ones that I did, I used Coastal Cotton, which is a Loops and Threads, and it is 90 cotton and 10, <coughs> excuse me, acrylic. And this one is the blush, blush. It does have some fuzz on it, um, but I'm wondering also because it's not as fuzzy, and I did pull from the center, if it's because it's been in a box. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. Been in a box rubbing up against other... Uh, what's this called? Uh, yarn. <laughs> this one is the pink. Same. Same. Oh, same deets. So those are my two, four actually, for the month. Um, Judy's make-along is going for six months. 
she's doing two of them a month for six months. So we will have 12 squares. Yes. Right? Something like that. Math. <laughs> so, no, you'll have more than that. Like twice as much as what I said. <laughs> okay, the other thing I'm working on, just a little bit, and I will have to find the pattern and put it in the description box because I've gotten to the point where um, I don't even really look at the pattern anymore. But I showed you guys this quite a while ago. It is the uh, beginnings of the cardigan that I'm making. And uh, that's obviously the stitch marker. This stitch marker came from uh, I Love Loopy Crochet and Treasures, Tracy. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think that's pretty much where I had stopped. And then I've started, started back up again. I've gotten quite a few of my other projects done. My Boggy Creek is done. Um, uh, my Hooka versus Hooka bag is like 99.9% .9 done. Matter of fact, I should probably get that done tonight just so I can say it's done. Um, I started the cardigan before Christmas because I, well, before Christmas, kind of, because uh, I wanted to have it for Christmas. <laughs> yeah, I crack myself up too. Uh, and too much was going on. Well, I'm, for it, I'm using uh, Mandela Ombre in Harmony. And as we all know, my favorite color is blue. So, uh, and I'm using the wool genie that Lala gave me. And uh, I'll tell you what, y'all, that is uh, a very, very nice investment. I do have another one. And silly me, it's still in the package. Um, that is pretty much all we, we, I have been doing. Jeff Lopes has been working outside and getting uh, what how we call it. You break everything in the summertime, you leave it there for the wintertime to get fixed because nobody really wants to stop and not enjoy our, our nice summer. Well, last summer wasn't really all that great. Um, but he's been fixing and organizing stuffs. He's been putting things together that uh, uh, we have purchased in the past. And that's pretty much it. But I, I, I do want to say happy anniversary to my hubby. Yep. It has been three years. Pretty much yesterday, give or take a few. His surgery was... Uh, he got out of surgery, I think, a little bit after midnight. So, um, for his little tiny mighty Quinn, and his kidney is named after uh, Mama Swift's uh, second granddaughter. Because she was born today. They are only a few hours apart. So, anyhow. Ye hippie ha. Three years, and he's still just plowing through it, just never would have known, never would have known. Well, if you didn't know him, you wouldn't have known. <laughs> Anyhow, very, very happy with how everything has turned out. Um, the person who donated their kidney to him opted not to be... Um, for us to be told who it was, we do know it was uh, a 21-year-old male. So, there you go. And uh, 
we forever and ever and ever are so grateful to him and to anybody else who donates an organ, kidneys, um, you know, we all, if, if we're in the health, in the age range, you can live with just one. And our son donated his kidney, I guess you can say in the name of his dad. And it turned out to be a young gentleman from here in Alaska. And all of this took place down in Washington. So, um, yeah, it, uh, it was a, definitely a story of miracles. I'll keep it real short. Um, Cody's original person who was going to get his kidney ended up with a nasty C. So they were not able to get, have the surgery. Well, this young gentleman just happened to be down there for a checkup or something. And um, he had obviously also been waiting for a kidney. And uh, his doctor came into the office and he said, Hey, bud, how would you like to have a new kidney? And of course, you know, well, yeah, duh. Well, actually, yes, we have somebody here under the circumstances. You both match, you, and there you go. So lo and behold, an Alaskan helping another Alaskan. Just, we were all tickled pink, tickled, tickled pink. Well, it just, we all cried, okay? We all bawled. <laughs> it was just an awesome, awesome so, anyway, so there's our Monday makes alongs and stuffs. I hope everybody had a great weekend, and I know it's the beginning of the week for some. Just remember, every day is a new day. Hopefully it was a good one. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye now.